Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Invicto Victorious Elixir by Fragrance World. And this is their take on Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory Elixir, which was released in 2023. We're going to go through a breakdown of the scent as well as performance. And we'll take a look at what type of fragrance this is and what are some good times to wear this. So if you're not familiar with this type of fragrance basically it is a warm amber and vanilla fragrance it comes off a little sweet but in addition to that a lot of people get a really prominent coconut accord in this and kind of describe it as like a creamy vanilla coconut almost like a pina colada not everybody gets that coconut note but a lot of people do so a quick look at the presentation you can see the box that it comes in and the bottle is basically a clear blue with a black gradient to the top. The cap is rather heavy, but it is basically plastic with some metal weighting on the inside. The Atomizer does a really good job of getting a really nice wide spray. All right, so let's get into the scent here. So if you look at the notes on the original, they are lavender, cardamom, and black pepper in the top. The mid is incense and patchouli. And the base notes are vanilla and taco bean. So when I spray Invicto Victorious Elixir on, it seems to be very true to the notes that it represents. So in the initial blast, I do get a little bit of almost like a sweet fruity notes that I don't see listed. But in about a minute or two, those tend to go away. And then it turns into a very fresh, spicy lavender and black pepper. To me, the black pepper is very predominant in the opening along with a little bit of that lavender. So to me, the opening smells really good. After that initial blast dies down, it really turns more into a very cardamom heavy and vanilla fragrance. It has a lot of that vanilla sweetness along with a little of that powdery sweetness from the tonka bean. Also after the opening, I do notice a very strong coconut scent along with that lavender and vanilla and cardamom to me it comes off of very much of like a creamy and sweet vanilla coconut fragrance and so because of that creamy coconut opening that i get out of invicto elixir as well as the original i kind of categorize this as a special occasion fragrance and that's just due to the coconut note in it so because of that scent this is really not something that i would enjoy wearing in the fall or winter and probably even spring to me this is very much a a summer fragrance because that creamy coconut reminds me of like tropical places and vacations so that's where i really picture myself using this and so once this dries down to my nose this turns into more of a vanilla dominant fragrance with a little bit of smoky incense underneath which to me gives it more of a masculine edge and it makes it not really an overly sweet fragrance so to my nose i really like this fragrance and overall it does a really solid job of representing the original so if i were to compare it to the original i don't really get that fruity sweetness in the opening like i do in the fragrance world version and the black pepper seems to be intertwined a little bit better with the other notes in the original as well Outside of that, overall, it's really, really close to the Paco Rabanne version, to my nose at least. So the pricing on this is around the mid $30 range. I think I paid $33 or $34 for this, which is a very reasonable price for the quality of fragrance this is. So how is performance on Fragrance World's Invicto Elixir? So I get about six to eight hours, more so on the eight hour side as far as longevity goes and as far as projection it does a really good job for the first couple of hours and it's right in line with that hundred dollar range designer performance that i usually get now the projection is not quite as strong as the paco Rabanne version 
and I do get a couple of hours more of longevity off the original as well. But for basically 30% of the price of the original, definitely pleased with the performance here. All right, so as far as wearability goes, for me personally, as I said, this is a very situational fragrance to, to that coconut. This is something that I would take on vacations or something that would put me in the mood of being on a vacation. And because of the cardamom and the vanilla sweetness, this is probably not something that I would wear during the day because it gets extremely hot where I live. So this is probably going to be a little too sweet and cloying for the daytime wear. But to me, this is perfect for evening wear during the summertime, especially if I'm on vacation in a tropical place or at the beach. Now, if the coconut accord is really not prominent to you or it's not a big deal, this is a great cool weather fragrance for the fall or winter because it has that really warm, spicy amber and vanilla to it. All right, guys, that's it. Overall, this is a solid pickup, and I am super glad that I picked this up, and this is definitely something that I will be wearing in the summer.